Hey, this is Sarah from Made on the Common again, and this is the second video in um, a series I've got on how to use your sales dashboard. So this is looking at the Etsy sales dashboard, and this particular one is for UK sellers. So I'll have another video for you if you're using the US one or the Canadian version or um, any other options that I might add in the future as well. So as I said, this is um, the second tutorial video. So the first one, if you haven't seen it yet, talks you through downloading your data from Etsy, adding it into the file, and then using the product setup sheet to assign kind of short names and product types and categories. So I've gone through that in quite a lot of detail in the other video. So this one, I want to concentrate just on the reports. So you've got your data in the file. You've, If you wanted to use them, you've got the categories set up in here so that you've got your kind of products classified by a group that means something to you. So it will very much depend on what you're selling. So what I want to do now is just talk through these pink um, kind of tabs that are the actual reports that you get out of it. So this is using some demo data. I've actually added kind of four years worth of data into the file just to give you um, the most kind of good view on what all of these reports show you. If you've only got one year's data or a couple of months or something, then you might not see all of this information. Um, and if you only sell to one country, but hopefully this will, as you kind of maybe add more products or have more sales, it will kind of show you what you can expect to see. So this is the main dashboard. This is, if you like, your overview um, report where you can start and start looking at whatever questions it is that you want answered by looking at your sales. So we're looking primarily at product sales um, and you can look at where you've sold to, kind of what you've sold and when you sold it. Those are kind of the main things that we're covering in here. So these kind of all of the boxes up here, so you see year, country, type, category, and over here we've got month. All of these are selectable. So at the moment we're looking at everything. So from 2020 all the way up to 2023, every country you've sold to, all of your product types and every month that you've kind of sold in. And up here you see the totals. So in this demo data that I've got, we've got a total of £73,000 worth of sales, which has come from 3,000, 3,500 orders. Your average order value, so the average value per order is 21.93. And the average quantity of products sold per order is just over one. So most orders are just going to have one item on them. If we wanted to just look at, say, last year, if we want to look at 2022, you would literally just click on 2022 and you see that all of the numbers and all of the graphs have updated. These figures up here have now changed. If we wanted to look at 2021, again, you can see the difference. This one will always show you all of your years, obviously, because it just kind of changes go back to 2020 but all of the others update so you can see in 2020 there was kind of a ramp up of sales in here by 2022 it had more or less evened out and kind of the bulk of the sales come at the start of the year so again depending on your sales cycle you might have a big ramp up coming into Christmas um, in which case you'd see a different but this just gives you the split of sales by month to get rid of this and to go back to seeing all of your years, you just click the little filter arrow and you see it's gone back to the start. And that's the same on all of these. So now if I wanted to see, so I can see here, there's a lot of sales going to the US, there's a lot of sales going to the UK. If I just wanted to look at UK sales, you can scroll down here. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to see. United Kingdom, there we go. So again, these figures at the top have updated. Um, your years have kind of updated now to just be UK sales. You can see here, so interleaved for the UK, the bulk of the sales come in January. If I compared that to the US, you can see that's more even. So that might be something that's useful. You might see a different ramp up across different countries. So that might affect your marketing where you want to kind of spend advertising pounds. So going further down, we see the top 10 sales by type and by category. So these types and categories are set up on the product setup sheet. Well, the start here page and then assigned products on the product setup sheet. And I covered that in the previous video. But if you just wanted to look, so let's go back to looking at all countries. So this, you know, so your types might be necklaces and rings. They might be um, a5 planners, A4 planners, they might be clothes, so you might have dresses, t-shirts, you know, anything in here. So if I just wanted to look at Etsy products, you see that's now just showing Etsy, and I can see, okay, so the bulk of my, in this case, the Etsy sales are coming from pricing templates, 
and these are the products that make that up. So this will show you your top 10 products and then anything else that you've sold. It shows the top 10 countries and then any other countries that you've sold to. So if you, you can, you know, really drill down on this. If I just want to look at 2022, Etsy to, oh, not in that case, to the United Kingdom, you know, you could really start seeing where those sales come from. Um, and when you sell them. So for some reason, this one sells most in September, as opposed to, you know, overall, it was mainly in January. So that might be something that's useful. Um, if I just put this all the way back up to the top, uh, let's go back to all countries, old years, sorry. If I wanted to look at um, Amazon invoicing templates, you see there's just kind of one product in here. This is all dummy data, so it doesn't really mean anything. Um, obviously, your data will hopefully mean a lot more to you. And then the last one up here is the month. So this enables you to see. So if you know that the bulk of your sales come in January, you can just filter on January and see exactly what those products are. If you wanted to look and say, OK, we're currently in May, um, I want to look at what I sold last year in June. So you click on 2022 June. Um, this kind of doesn't give you an accurate split. This just kind of, because it's trying to look at all months, it doesn't apply the June. It will have, have applied 2022, but not June. Um, but I just wanted to look at June sales, which one 1932. And I can see that those are the products that sold in June. And these were the countries that sold to. So again, it might be if you're looking at your Facebook advertising or, you know, what to email out to your email list, anything like that. It maybe gives you a heads up of what you sold a lot of. It might be worth, you know, if you want to look a couple of months ahead, I want to look at July. OK, maybe that was a different product. So maybe I want to get some Pinterest pins out there to start pushing those products to sell them again. Um. So that's kind of your dashboard. Have a play with it. If there's anything you don't have on here that you think, oh, actually, that would be really useful if I could see X, let me know. Um, I'm still kind of developing this, so it could be that there's new reports we can add in here. But that's your overview. So then the next sheet, your product detail, is a really more in-depth view of what you've literally sold by month. So again, this is starting to look by looking at all years. If you wanted to look last year, and say, OK, what did I sell in 2022? So it will tell you, show you here your total sales, the number of orders you had and your average order value. So you can see if that varies by month. <clears throat> and you can then see all of the sales that you sold by product. Um, the little chart here shows you which month you sold the most in. So this one sold the most in January. You know, this one these three start selling more in the middle of the year. So that might be, again, something that's useful to know. And then over here, you kind of get a, a gauge of how big your product sales are. So it might be in this case, you know, you want to look at those those ones. You're not really bothered about, you know, you don't want to spend time analysing products that you don't sell much of. It will also show you maybe that you've started selling a lot less of a product you used to sell a lot of. So maybe it's time to retire that one or replace it or refresh it. And again, you've got all of the filters here, so you can look by month, you can look by category. If you've got a lot of products, you perhaps just want to look at a certain category. And then you can just filter on those products and see what your total were. Um, you know, you can really start getting a drill down of what you sold when. The third, so these two um, reports are pretty much the same, depending, no matter which variation of dashboard you buy. The following reports will vary um, depending on what country you're based in. So if you're in the US, you will see more information on what states you've sold to. If you're in Canada, you'll see more information on kind of Canadian provinces and possibly US states as well. This is the UK version. So we have a view by country. Um, so if we take the filters off again, let's go back up to the top. So we can start seeing what we've sold a lot of, um, what country we've sold to, all of those sorts of things. 
Okay, so now we get the total sales. So we can see where your biggest kind of selling countries are. It might be that you only sell to the UK, in which case you'll just see that. But if you've got other product, other countries that are sold to, you'll get that kind of breakdown on here. So again, it affects where your marketing is, where you're kind of selling most things to. For this UK one, we then get a breakdown for UK sales. Now, unfortunately, it's not possible to get a map up um, showing sales by um, region or by county so this goes down to shipping city and it will show you the products that you've sold to each city which again might be useful for um, postage or shipping kind of information so you can see where you sell a lot to um, you might sell a lot locally so again you may can maybe adjust how you get them there you've got all of the same filters up here so you can just look at certain products if I just want to look at bookkeeping it will update that and the way that you can kind of drop these back in, so in shipping country, we just want to look at UK. And if I just want to get a gauge of the cities, if you click the little minus button here, it kind of suppresses all of the detail behind that. If you want to do the same on all of them, if you right click and go to expand collapse and do collapse entire field, you can see all of the products have kind of disappeared now. So you can see where you sell the most of your products to. And that's for bookkeeping. If I wanted to look at all products. Again, it just gives you a breakdown. So how useful that is, um, I'm not sure. I know some people were looking for that, which is why I've built it in. Um, it may or may not be meaningful for you. So then the last report that we have is looking at um, your repeat customers. So again, this may be useful to some of you and not to others, but it's there in case you want it. And this will give you a percentage. If I, again, let's just collapse that entire field. If we go to repeat customers, um, you can see you get the breakdown by year and then the great total. And then up here, it will show you how many of your orders come from repeat customers and how many are one-off orders. So again, that will be a good gauge of how well you're attracting people back into the shop. Who come back and buy from you again and again again different businesses will have more one-offs than orders so there's no kind of right percentage on here but obviously over time it'd be something that ideally you'd like to see increasing because as you've been in business longer you would hope you get people to come back so that's the repeat customers one and that's it so that's how they all work um, hopefully this has been useful if you've got any questions on any of the reports or if there's anything you think oh it would be great if i could see whatever um, let me know and if enough people are looking for the same thing then I will build it into a future um, update and you will always have access to the latest version of the file um, using the template hubs that are on my website you just need to sign up um, I will put the link below and then you can always download the latest version as I kind of make tweaks and enhance this in the future thanks a lot hope to see you next time